Hello everybody, Captain Marty here, and it is Monday, August the 12th, and we have a full wrap-up of the 35th Annual Alice Kelly Tournament, and we'll have some other fishing to talk about too. I'll be right back. Ahoy there, folks. Captain Edward Lee here, and I want to invite you aboard the Miss Oregon Inlet too. She's a modern 60-foot headboat outfitted with the latest top-quality safety and fishing equipment. We make three trips per day out of the world-famous Oregon Inlet Fishing Center. Visit MissOregonInlet.com or call us today at 252-251-4314. So ditch the beach for a bit and set sail with the Miss Oregon Inlet 2. At Fishing Unlimited on the Nags Head Manio Causeway, not only can you get stocked up with all the bait, tackle, and amenities necessary to fish, but you can also be your own captain. That's right. At Fishing Unlimited, you can rent one of their spacious pontoon boats to go fishing, crabbing, dolphin watching, or just to cruise the Roanoke Sound. It's family fun at its finest. Half day and full day rentals are available. Be your own captain at Fishing Unlimited on the Nags Head Manio Causeway. All right, so uh, the Alice Kelly is in the books. Alice Kelly, an old friend of mine, an old client that I fished as a mate and a captain for many years. It's tournament in her memory. And I tell you what, we had 152 boats and we lucked out and got a pretty day weather-wise. With the weather we had earlier in the week with Debbie, uh, there was some question about all that. But everything worked out. We had a good close tournament that was won in the last five minutes of the tournament. So the way that kind of worked out, there were a number of boats that were holding on 400 points. They would have been the Citation, the Sally Girl, the Due South, and the Renegade all had 400 points tied, but they were in that order. Citation was in first place based on they got their 400 points first. And all four of those fish had four sailfish per boat. Pretty good day. But the fender bender had caught two blue marlin earlier in the day. They were worth 150 points apiece as compared to the 100 points apiece the sail fisherman caught. So he was behind. He had 300 points, two blue marlin, 150 points apiece. And uh, he was still having a great day with two blue marlin releases. Then within the last five minutes, he called that he was hooked up and you can fight a fish and as long as you need, as long as you hook it before three o'clock, which he did. And he ended up releasing a third blue marlin, three blue marlin. That gave him another 150 points. So totaled him out at 450 points on three blue marlin and beat that string of boats that had 400 points apiece. So let me say that again. Here's the way the top five went. The Fender Bender, the Citation, the Salad Girl, the Due South, and the Renegade. There were 88 billfish caught and uh, and all of them released, which is a great thing. On the meat categories, the boat Epic <clears throat> had a 26.2 pound dolphin. That fish is probably going to be, there's only two money categories in this tournament. The billfish category, the uh, overall billfish category release category and the dolphin the dolphin won those folks i'm thinking of around 40 plus thousand dollars and then uh the tuna the largest tuna was caught on jamin simmons boat the salvation old friend of mine and uh this was savannah whitfield 13 years old and she caught a 54.3 pound yellowfin tuna and had to well stave off a bunch of challengers there was a bunch in the 45 46 pound range but she held on to win that prize and uh, the biggest wahoo was caught on the bobo joe uh, a group of gals i know fairly well they caught a 47.4 pound wahoo to take home the wahoo trophy so that's kind of the long and the short of things as they happened in the alice kelly tournament now what we call the big tournament the annual 41st annual pirates cove billfish tournament will be tuesday through friday are the fishing days tomorrow excuse me today will be a a day of registering getting boats ready and some boats will be practice fishing which is something new they didn't do that when i tournament fished but they'll be practice fishing getting all their ducks in a row and then they'll fish three out of the four next four days tuesday wednesday thursday friday and um you can stay right here and we'll bring we'll bring uh, updates each morning you can also go to fishpiratescove.com or pcbgt you can go uh, google and search the app the pirates cove billfish tournament app and you can listen to our live uh, live audio every single day on the stream so it's a lot of fun that's all coming up other than the tournament offshore fishing was kind of scrappy uh, a few black fin tuna a scattered yellow fin tuna uh pretty f- 
pretty min, pretty uh, fair, I'll call selfish fishing. Um, most of the billfish right now are selfish. They really should be white marlin, but they're not. But uh, had all that going on, and just occasionally a wahoo wasn't much in any of the fleets to write home about. Inshore fleets are catching drum and ribbon fish and Spanish mackerel and some small bluefish, things of that nature. Pier and surf fishing, uh, while we're over there having fun at the tournament, it's been a nice mix of stuff. One nice catch from the surf down to Ocracoke uh, was Junior Perez with a 35-pound cobia that he caught in one foot of water. Probably in there feeding right in the surf, right? Right on the shore break where it stirs up crabs and shrimp and things like that. One of the most common problems surf fishermen make is overcasting their, uh, the best fishing is right up along the beach. You do not need to have to cast a mile. And this time of year, you don't need anything but a seven foot rod with some 12 pound test line on it. Just lighten up everything and you'll catch spot, sea mullet, croakers, pompano, things of that nature. If you're lucky, maybe a trout. And that uh, there's also with some pretty good drum catches, especially on Hatter's Island and most of the size ranges, although they look like they're running a little bit smaller to me. So we'll take a break right here and come back and talk about this fishing going on in the sound. So stay right there. I'm sitting here with Captain Andy Ennis of Old North State Charters. And Andy, it seems as if you catch fish or you crash your boat trying to catch fish. Well, Justin, here's the deal. I'm the best there is, plain and simple. When I get on my boat in the morning, it reeks of excellence. No one can hang with my stuff. I'm just a big old hairy American fishing machine. If you ain't first, you're last. Check out what I do online at oldnorthstatefishing.com. If you want to catch some fish, let's go. Back in the sound, my old buddy, Lily Binkley, daughter of Mike and Betsy Binkley and Manio went out. Her and mom and dad went out and had a, a really good day of drum fishing on Saturday night. They caught five big drum on cut bait, and uh, Lily caught a nice one I'd estimate it to be 45, 50 inches long, a big one, by boat in the Pamlico Sound. There's been a lot of that going on, really good drum fishing. There's still drum around the inlets. There's still some drum in the ocean. Um, they also are running in every size range, a lot of puppy drum, but there is uh, some pretty good activity on the big drum uh, later in the evenings, leading up till dark as they feed up and down the shoals. I'd call it very good drum fishing. A lot of locals, this is their favorite thing to do, even though you have to let them go. It's their favorite thing to do. And if you catch a smaller one in the slot size, you can keep one per person. There's also some very good speckled trout going on. We've talked about that almost every single fishing report, but uh, I'm not making that up. It's been good a good summer on speckled trout. Sizes are smaller, numbers are up, so keep that in mind too. And there's still other things like black drum and sheephead. A few bluefish back in the sound. I'm not. I still not seeing a whole lot on the summer bottom feeders, spots and croakers, flounder, things like that. But uh, if we hear of any changes in that regard, we'll let you know. There has been. I did mention. Uh, some croaker fishing we love to see the pier when the croaker bite gets on that's due to happen almost any time now where people will come down and feel coolers full of croakers mostly croakers and a few spots as well so uh, just stay right here and we'll let you know of any breaking fishing news meanwhile we'll be back to the tournament all week long and uh, if you get a chance come out to pirates cove every evening you can walk the dock it's open to the public be careful where you park and uh don't block fire lanes or things like that don't block driveways but come on out and say hi i'll be out there every evening and if you can tune in during the day and listen to us on the live feed have a blessed day and i'll talk to you when the creek ain't rising and the fish are biting